Hey guys, Chef Joe Simonera here. You know, we got a great show for you coming up here today. We're talking about desserts. I mean, who doesn't like desserts? Now, you know I'm a little partial to desserts coming out of Italy, and one of my favorite desserts is called the panna cotta, which is basically a vanilla cream-based dessert, which is perfect with just plain fruit on top or fruit compote, but you cannot make the classical panna cotta without a classical gelatin like this product here. So, you know, when you're talking about gelatin and some form forms come in powder and some forms come in leaves, etc. This leaf gelatin by far is going to be definitely the best. Okay, now this product and I go hand in hand. I mean, we've been working together for years. And now coming up, I'm gonna do a couple of dessert recipes. One I'm gonna show you next is called my panna cotta. So I hope that you like it, share it, and of course, enjoy it with friends and family. Taste this. Okay, so today we're gonna to be working with uh, Jalita gelatin. This is really the only leaf gelatin that I use. The product, hands down, is far superior than anything else on the market. It's got an excellent taste and you can always rely on it to stiffen up and do the job uh, you want it to do. So we're gonna open this baby up. This is their two pound container. You probably won't see this much in the stores, but for food service, uh, you know, you'll definitely get it. So we really don't need more than uh, two sheets of this gelatin. Today we're making a panna cotta. The panna cotta is a typical Italian dessert. You know, my grandmother used to make this all the time. But we're actually, this technique is called, you're blooming the gelatin. Basically, it's, it's taking gelatin sheets and if nobody's ever seen this before, this is gelatin at, at its raw state here that you could basically thicken anything up. And what you're gonna do is just leave it in the cold water. That's it. It's gonna soak up and I'll show you what it looks like. It's going in like this and it's gonna be coming out uh, a whole different shape. So while that's uh, sitting there in the cold water blooming, we're gonna take uh, our hot casserole dish here and we're gonna throw some heavy cream in here. Now. I'm gonna be using like one and a half pints or something like that. I could probably just get away with doing one. Everybody in my house loves panna cotta. So we're gonna throw that in there. If you can use organic, that would definitely be the preferred method here. Okay, that's looking good. Now we're gonna do a couple of things to this heavy cream that's in there, right folks? So. While our gelatin is blooming in the cold water, we're gonna come over here and add some granulated sugar. I have a half a cup of this in there. And I like to do a combination of sugar, honey, and maple syrup. But today we're just gonna use the honey. And you know, your panna cotta has to be sweet. Next, no panna cotta is complete without vanilla extract or you could actually use pure vanilla bean that's really what panna cotta is is you know you'll scrape the the, uh, the bean or the gelatin and throw it in there but for today we're just going to use a little bit of that extract you notice i probably put a little extra in there because i love vanilla now something you don't find uh in this type of thing is one egg put into this mixture the standard panna cotta is just the gelatin sheets as it blooms, you throw it into the hot liquid here. But what I'm gonna do is also throw in an egg because I want the color, I want a yellowish type of color. And you make sure that you throw that, that egg in there early on before this starts to boil, otherwise you'll have scrambled eggs. 
And make sure you actually get your egg yolk. See, there you go. Now it's going to actually turn this nice and yellow color. And you want to make sure that the egg is totally incorporated into the cream, folks. All right. Now, whenever you're using this incredible gelatin, folks, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, you, you take the ingredients into consideration because using a couple more of these sheets can make it really, really thick. Like years ago in culinary school when we were doing uh, aspic jelly and stuff like that, there's stuff that's like really, really, really just gelatinous. You know, I would throw like maybe a dozen of those in there. And then you could do aspic jelly and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, so we're gonna leave this. Just gonna turn this a little bit more. Okay, we're good, nothing is sticking. Now we're gonna go back over to our gelatin. And as you can see, it's starting to take a different shape now, folks. You're, st you're starting to bloom it, and that's exactly what it looks like. So it goes from a very, uh, you know, solid state. Then when it starts to get absorbed by the liquid, you have to do this with cold water before you put it into a hot liquid. It's just about ready to go. We're going to give it a couple of minutes there. Remember, if you did this in hot water, it would just disappear. So keep it in cold water. This way it sort of keeps its shape. And we're going to back, go back over to here. Make sure that we're stirring the panna cotta. We do not want it to scorch on the bottom. We are dealing with uh, heavy cream here, folks. We're also dealing with an egg. We want to make sure that we're doing that. While we're there, we're going to take out our three containers that we have in the freezer. You want to do yourself a favor and you know keep these little ramekins inside of the freezer so that they're really cold so that when the hot liquid goes in there it's a, it's a little less time you got to worry about generally three or four hours these things will will set up nicely we're going to go back over here we're going to see just this is just about coming up we can taste a little bit of this now now that we have some heat on there to kill any cross contamination like salmonella what we're going to do is test to make sure we have the proper amount of sugar and we do wow really good intense vanilla bean flavor as well now we're going to start to take the gelatin the leaf gelatin out of this all right and this is exactly what you want to do squeeze out any of the excess water bring it right over here drop it down and stir until completely dissolved We're looking good. I don't like to bring it to a rolling boil. So the second that we see it simmering a little bit, we're taking it off the fire. We're gonna put it into our ramekins. So you got a little bit of a yellow tint on this. We're gonna fill our ramekins just about full. And really it is important to freeze the ramekins before you do this. But what a, a beautiful just dessert. If you love heavy cream and if you love uh, gelatin, this is just such a, 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 an incredible dessert. We've got some blackberries at the end we're gonna throw on top of this. You could make a blackberry or raspberry or blueberry compote, which we can put on top of this as well. However, I mean, I'm partial to just uh, having berries on top. Perfect. All right, what we're gonna do is just top off the rest of these so that we're good. We're gonna take this, put it in the refrigerator for three or four hours, take it out, and my friends, we are gonna enjoy panna cotta. Was from Italy, now it's here in New York City. We're making this dessert. Stay tuned. All right, so now we have the panna cotta, Italy's most prized dessert. As you can see here, we are, it's bouncy, but yet it's, it's firm. 
And this is good because you put two leaves of gelatin in here and only use this quality stuff, folks. Okay, now we talked about we're gonna put the berries on top, that's fine too. But before we go in there, we don't wanna camouflage the top of this. Let's go down with a spoon. And you can see we're nice and creamy. See that? That's the custard that we were looking for. All right, and of course you can garnish it with some berries. You could put a fruit compote on it, but that's gonna be it. So uh, if you wanna learn more about this incredible product, folks, there'll be a website on the bottom of the screen. Check them out for all your gelatin, gelatin, leaf gelatin needs. This company has got you covered. Taste this.